All right, if you have your Bibles, let's go ahead and open those up. We're in Colossians chapter 1. Colossians 1, we're going to look at verse 16 through 17. And I personally love these verses here. I love the book of Colossians. It's all about just Jesus, just following Jesus, knowing Jesus. You know, Christianity is not an idea. It's not a systematic uh, doctrinal theology necessarily. It's knowing him. It's a person. Christianity, we follow a risen Lord, and he is with us by the Spirit, as Jesus said in John 4 to the woman at the well. He says, they that worship me must worship in spirit and in truth, because God is spirit. He's with us. And today we're going to talk about all things new and how the God of the Bible is the only one that can create something. You know, Satan, uh, the great dragon of old, right, uh, referred to as Antichrist instead of Christ, referred to as the beast, uh, you know, the accuser of the brethren. He was a, an angel, a fallen angel. You know, he is the great plagiarizer. He is the one that takes what God does and he twists it. But our God is a creator, and he'll create a new things in your heart. David in Psalm 51, he says, create in me a clean heart, O God. That word create in Hebrew is bara, B-A-R-A, and it means to create something out of nothing. David says, create a clean heart in me, God, and I've given you nothing to work with. Nothing to work with, but could you do a miracle and create in me a new heart? God can do that this new year. Listen to this, Colossians chapter 1, verse 16. It says, for by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on the earth. So the Bible says it's God who is the creator of all things in the heavens, the, 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 the solar system and the, the different um, stars and uh, galaxies that we're discovering. We, we've got the technology to discover. We're not creating ever, anything. We're just discovering what God's already made, right? The Bible says the heavens declare the glory of God. For by him all things were created that are in heaven that are on earth, visible and invisible. So the things we can see, the th things we can't see. Now, we get these incredible microscopes. You know, we can look so, so much into the, 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 the fabric of things now. But Paul, not having that microscope back then by the Spirit, inspired by God, says God created the smallest atom and he created the most incredible galaxies. He created all things, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. He even created the angels, the supernatural realm. All things were created through him, and they were created for him. We exist for the glory of God. And he is before all things, and in him all things consist. Now, that's one little word, but boy, is it packed with a punch. In the Greek, it means all things it's through the Lord that all things are held together. You know, right now, if you're driving in the car, if you're running on the treadmill, if you're watching this at the kitchen table, wherever you're taking in today's devotional, listen, I'm sitting on a stool here. The stool is made up of different atoms all together. And the, we have the proton and the, new, the electron in there. And it's God who holds it together. You know, scientists have called what holds the atom together they've called it god glue because it's moving if we could slow it down and make it bigger we could actually walk right through it i don't want to get off track but if you ever read in uh, after jesus resurrection he's in the resurrected body the disciples are in the upper room closed in there locked in and jesus comes right through the wall how is that well the resurrected body will find out more at the rapture when we go to have our personal rapture but the Bible says, in him all things consist. Everything's held together. You know, Peter tells us in the last days that when God destroys the heavens and the earth to create a new one, you know, he's just going to let go. That's all. God's just going to go like this, and phew, everything's going to stop. You know, right now, man can shake his fist at God. They can say they don't believe in God. They can blaspheme him. All over movies and television and music, throughout the culture, they're blaspheming God like I've never heard before. But God still holds all things together because he so loves this world. So this new year, listen, 
Realize God is creator. Let him create something new in you. And Father, bless your people. Do a new work in them. Create a new thing in them out of nothing that will bring you glory and bring the kingdom to their life. Peace, love, and joy in the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen.